Smart master pages affect where and how images and text are arranged on a page or spread. When applying a new master page to a page in your document, Affinity's Smart Master Page system will automatically reposition your existing page content to the new layout that's being introduced. If I tap on the Pages panel on the right, I can view the pages in this document. I can tap across to also view the master pages that have been created. Master pages act as templates for the document and they can be applied to multiple pages to keep the layouts consistent. We can also use the Smart Master Page feature to try out and reuse different page layouts. Here I've prepared a selection of master pages. The master pages show different configurations for four picture frames and at least three text frames. To begin with, I've applied master page D to this page in my document. Now I'll use the place tool to populate the picture frames with some images. I'll tap place and place from files. I'll select my images and tap open. Now I can choose the images from the place panel and tap on the picture frames where I'd like to place them. I'll take care to place this image into the largest frame as I want this specific image to be the main focus of this article. With the master page applied to my page, I can now go back to the pages panel and hold my finger on different master pages and drag them over my document view to try out different layouts. You'll notice that when I present a new master page to the page, it immediately generates a preview of how that page would look if that master page was applied. If I don't release my finger and move it away, the preview disappears. This allows me to sample different page layouts without having to commit to a new master page. Once I've decided on my layout, I can then release my finger to commit the change. The page will then update to reflect the new master page layout. If I'm ever unsure of which master page has been applied, I can check on the Layers panel. Here we can see that Master C is currently applied. It's worth mentioning that when a master page is dragged from the Pages panel and dropped onto a page, it will overwrite the existing master page that was previously applied. Now we can see that Master C has been replaced with Master D. However, if you go to the master pages and long press on a master page, you can choose to add master to current spread and it will apply a second master page. If your layers are unnamed, the master page system will reorganize the content based on the image positioning and the layer order. However, we can purposefully decide where elements will be positioned by employing a layer naming convention. If layer content has been assigned the same names as the frames on the master page, it will place the content into the corresponding frames on the master page layout. For instance, my most important image is named picture frame 1. Then the three supporting images are picture frames 2, 3 and 4. My article title is frame text 1 and the subtitle is frame text 2, with the article body being labelled frame text 3. If we go to our master pages, and drag over this new master page that I've created, you'll notice the content is not moving into the right places. This is because I haven't set up the naming convention for this page. So we'll two finger tap to undo and tap the new master to view it. Then we'll go to the layers panel and rename the layers to match the naming convention. I'll select the largest picture frame and name it picture frame one and then name the second largest one Picture Frame 2. The third will be Picture Frame 3 and the fourth will be Picture Frame 4. Next I'll do the same for the text frames. The title frame will be Frame Text 1 and the subtitle will be Frame Text 2. The article frames will be Frame Text 3 and I'll also link up all the text frames where the article will flow. Once we've done this, we can use the Pages panel to return to our page. Now when I apply this master page, the text and images will be positioned into their corresponding frames. The image that we wanted to prioritise earlier has been positioned in the largest most prominent frame. If at any time I'd like to go back and make a change to my master pages, I can either locate them on the Pages panel or find the master page layer on the layers panel. I can tap the second button along 
and then choose to either Edit Detached or Edit Linked. By choosing Edit Detached, any edits that I make will only affect my current page, whereas choosing Edit Linked will update the original master page as well as any other pages that that master page has been applied to. So there we go. That was a quick look at how smart master pages work in Publisher for iPad. Thanks for watching.